The immune system and nervous system's close bond is what makes chiropractic care beneficial to your immune system. When we have patients that come in with misalignments within their spine, those misalignments are actually stopping communication from the brain to the spinal cord. Now, when the nervous system is impeded on like this, as a chiropractor, our job is to clear the system of those misalignments or interferences of the brain's communication with the spinal column. Now, in turn, affecting your nervous system is going to improve your immune system and it will allow your immune system to have an appropriate response to different antigens that it's feeling through the season. If you or a loved one has anyone that's suffering from allergies, please have them contact us here at ChiroCare of Florida. here in Aventura, Florida, and today we'll be talking about chronic pain. So what is chronic pain? Chronic pain is any type of pain that lasts anywhere between 12 weeks and three months. After that three month time period, chronic pain not only happens within the body, but it actually starts to affect our brain. So our body starts to become hypersensitive to different types of stimuli. So what happens after that is patients will come in, usually on a weekly to sometimes monthly basis. In that way, we can start to detrain some of those bad side effects from that chronic pain symptoms. We start to expose patients to different types of stimuli, whether that's through adjustments, muscle work, or exercise, to hopefully lessen that pain and allow them to live a more functional and happier life. So today we're going to be discussing chiropractic and pregnancy. We all know that back pain a lot of times accompanies pregnancy and, and I want to talk a little bit about why that happens and how chiropractic can help. So when you look at the spine, we have a ligament that attaches right to your sacrum here and that ligament attaches to the uterus, it's a uterine ligament. So when your lower back is misaligned or as the baby is growing and your uterus is growing, it's pulling the sacrum forward and that can start creating lower back pain, especially because your ligaments loosen up as you get pregnant, right? To make room for the changes that happen as the baby grows. With chiropractic, what we do, we check the lower back, we check your pelvis and we check your sacrum to see what's happening there. And then we gently adjust those areas of the body 
that allows this ligament to relax, okay? So it takes a lot of the strain off of your lower back. And as you get closer to delivery, it allows your pelvis to open up so much easier to allow you to have a much easier birthing process. So chiropractic is fantastic for pregnancy women. It's safe, it's efficient, and trust me, you'll be glad you did it. Misconception is the difference between mobility and flexibility. Flexibility is when you passively use that range of motion, which is usually done through stretching. Mobility is achieved through actually loading those areas. So what we do here in Aventura is we don't only work on the muscles and stretch, we'll bring you into the gym and we'll start to load those joints, getting you to challenge those joints in different ranges of motion to make sure that you're safe in those ranges of motion. If you use it, you won't lose it. Today I want to talk to you about professional athletes or the amateur athlete and the weekend warrior. Actually, statistically, professional athletes, 90% of them are seeing chiropractors on a regular basis. Now, of course, they have all this at their fingertips. These are top conditioned athletes that train every day, that condition every day. And if something goes wrong, they have everything accessible for them. I'm going to put them to the side. We're talking about the amateur athlete, the weekend warrior. Actually, before I go there, let me just mention this because I just saw it. Someone pointed out to me the other day on the internet was Tom Brady. And the title basically said, if it wasn't for chiropractic, I wouldn't be where I am today. There are thousands of professional athletes that have said the same thing, but we're focusing on the amateur athlete. But if we think about that, the average Joe, like you and me, we are not in top condition on a regular basis, year after year training, so that we're in prime shape. But a lot of us want to be, but we don't have that time. The role of chiropractic for the amateur athlete, as well as the weekend warrior, and actually even the professional athlete, is to one, enhance performance. Number two, to prevent injury. And number three would be to manage their injury as well. Now, if you think about it, those first two things are talking about nothing with pain, right? 
So some people might say, well, why would a person come to a chiropractor if they're not having any pain? Well, because it's understanding your body. It's understanding how your nerve system works, how your spine is related to that nerve system. And so by enhancing performance, by preventing injury, you can continue in your weekend adventures or your other amateur type of athletic activities. It's about keeping your system working well for as long as possible. So you keep the quality of your life going as well as the time of life. It's really important to keep yourself conditioned because you know what, if you're conditioned, then you should not have as much injury, right? Because your body is willing to adapt. When your system is primed, the body adapts to various stresses. For instance, if I can get two volunteers from the audience up here. Come on over here, great, excellent. You're gonna stand right here for me, okay? And you're gonna stand right over here for me. Now, okay, this, I want you to tilt a little bit here, bend your head a little bit here, hips out a little bit here, right? This person here, this young lady, beautiful posture, very good spine, in real good condition, nice alignment, whereas this person, obviously we can see not good alignment, interference within the nerve system. Now, the two of them go to the same restaurant to have lunch. They both order the same dish. It's a chicken dish, but you know what? The chicken is poisoned. So, the question I pose to you is, which one of them is gonna get diarrhea first? Most people would think this person, the one who's out of shape, a poor nerve system, a lot of misalignment, right? But you're wrong. This person would get that diarrhea first. Why is that? Because if your system is working properly, then it's going to recognize that there's poisons or toxins in your body. It's going to recognize it the quickest, and it's going to do something to get rid of it. We may not love how it gets rid of it, but it is doing what it should be doing. Just as if you have a fever. It's the body's way of protecting you, destroying the bad cells. So it's important to keep yourself conditioned. Thank you, you can straighten up, I don't want you to get All too right. bad there. But that's what we're talking about for enhancing performance, preventing injury. It's not just about pain. If you want chiropractic to be a role in your life, give us a call at ChiroCare Plantation. that we're able to bring to the pediatric community. Now, as most of us would understand as adults, when we understand our bodies and we understand when something's not working properly, we have symptoms, we're able to express those symptoms and seek care. With children, it's a little bit different. With children, they express dysfunction with certain conditions. It could either be an ear infection, it could be acid reflux, or it could be colic, just to name a few. With the chiropractic evaluation, what we're able to do is find misalignments in the spine that relate to these conditions. And we're able to provide gentle adjustments to fix these subluxations or misalignments. If you or anyone you know have children that are experienced this, please have them brought to a chiropractor to have a formal evaluation. Thank you.
chiropractic is a mind and body approach. Uh, adjusting your spine will trigger positive hormones, uh, such as uh, neurotoxins, oxytocin, and cortisol. Those can help with reduce the sleep, relieve the tension, and encourage uh, relaxation. If you're looking for some relief of your mental health symptoms, chiropractic is a proven method that may improve your quality of life. And here at Caracare, we're ready to treat you. people in America are taking these, right? When people come into our office, one thing that we want to help them understand is that pain relief and corrective care are two very different things. Let's say, for instance, that you get a headache, and so you pop a Tylenol. Well, the pain in your head went away, correct? Of course. But did the Tylenol cure you from ever getting a headache again? No, it didn't, right? you can get a headache that next day or actually even that same day a little bit later on. In our office we want to find out what is the cause? Why are you getting the headaches? And if we can figure that out and correct that then the headaches are not only going to be better today but for your future as well. And this stuff we can get rid of. Hey I'm Dr. Schwartz with Chiropractor Florida. Today I'm going to talk to you about something I don't even like to say. It's a bad word because I suffer from this, migraines. A lot of people suffer from it. If you never had, I hope you don't. But if you do, we're gonna give a little bit of information. And for those that don't know what migraines are. Migraines are basically a very severe headache. Can be caused by a myriad of things such as food allergies, weather, stress, uh, sensitivities to light. Some of the symptoms that you can get are nausea, dizziness, vomiting, pounding headache, uh, sensitivity to light such as blurred vision. There really is no specific cause, but there are some ways to help treat besides medication. Along with migraines, you can get tension, pain in your neck, in your low back, in your mid back, uh, and chiropractic can help loosen up th those areas and issues. We're not gonna solve the problem, but at least we'll help you navigate through it. Migraines can last anywhere from four hours to four days, and someone who suffers from them massively, I know that chiro without chiropractic, but I would not be able to function on a daily basis. Fatigue affects over 2 million Americans a year, and it could result in sleep issues. It could also involve cognitive problems. Now, fatigue can be caused by a number of different um, factors. Um, typically, we see that you have some sort of neuro, uh, neurotransmitter imbalance, could be an increased workload at work or at home. It could even be a result of external influence, such as physical or mental stress. Now, chiropractors, we can help with that through many different ways. What we can do, we can, we can help with dietary, so we can help improve your diet, which ultimately will help you have more energy, hopefully resulting in less fatigue. Um, we could do lifestyle modification, which can include posture modification. Um, with different posture modifications, what we can do is hopefully get you in a state where you're more relaxed and more aware of your surroundings, so that way when you're working, instead of feeling sluggish and tired, you're more awake and ready to work.
Dr. Schwartz with Chiropractor Florida. Today I'm going to demonstrate one of the tables that we have in a lot of our clinics. Like many patients, different body types, different sizes, different heights, different weights, different injuries. We have a number of different tables to treat you how specifically how you should be treated. This table can adjust up and down for the patient's height. It also has automatic flexion and distraction, which is a chiropractic technique to help open up the joint space. It can be lengthened for patients that are taller. It can be shortened for patients that are smaller. It has all drops for a technique called Thompson. If a patient's just worried about getting adjusted manually, the table can help do that work. Uh, it has some handles for stretching. So any type of patient that comes in, we can treat them in a myriad of different ways just with this table. Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Levine. I'm with ChiroCare Florida Plantation Office. Today I want to talk to you about x-ray. You know, x-ray has been around for many, many years, and it is a necessary tool in helping to diagnose a patient's condition. A lot of doctors are using this to determine disease process. It can look for breaks or fractures of bones. Uh, it can look for tumors, things of that nature. But in chiropractic, we also use it a lot for alignment. We're basically looking to see the alignment of your spine. We like to say that the position that we're created in allows optimal function of the body. So if your spine is deviating from that position, it can compromise your function. And the way that we know this is through x-ray. It helps us to understand what your spine looks like and as well if there's any processes that are going on that we need to pay more attention to. from the brain all the way to the rest of the body. For example, the atlas, the vertebra that is located at the base of the brain is what directly affects our cardiovascular system. Misalignment of the spine can cause arteries to contract, negatively affecting a blood flow and causing a higher blood pressure. Here at ChiroCare, we can address those issues. Now, I like to compare herniated discs to what we lo everybody loves, jelly donuts. Now, a jelly donut, if I have a jelly donut in hand and I squeeze it, right, the jelly is going to come out. These discs work the exact same way. Now, say you're in a car accident, a traumatic incident. Now, pretend like me squeezing a jelly donut is like a traumatic incident. If you're in a car accident, what happens is these discs, they can herniate. And what happens is the jelly in our donut, figures, figuratively speaking, the jelly can come out and it can impinge on these nerves. When that happens, you can get a bunch of different symptoms. Pain, numbness, tingling, the list goes on and on. Now through chiropractic care, what we're gonna do is through various therapies, stretching, EMS, as well as the adjustment, the goal is to try and take as much pressure off these nerves as we can, so that way your body can one, get out of pain as quickly as possible, and two, your healing process can take place faster. 
Now, it all comes down to being consistent with your care. So as long as you listen to what your chiropractic set, what your chiropractor says and his recommendations, hopefully we'll be able to get you out of pain as quickly as possible. alternative medicine. You know, that term came along because most people understood that our mainstream has been medical. Your primary doctor, your orthopedic, surgeons, those types of care is mainstream. Alternative medicine is a term that's been used for anything that's outside of that. But you know, for me, as a chiropractor, and I've been doing this for over 30 years, I've seen chiropractic been considered alternative, but moving more and more towards mainstream. Alternative could be acupuncture, massage, um, anything holistic, anything like I said that's outside of the American Medical Association model. And chiropractic, although considered alternative, to me it's something that's becoming more and more mainstream because more and more people realize how beneficial it can be for you. nutrition and how that relates to overall body health and why a chiropractor like myself would be discussing nutrition and supplements with my patients. For one thing, we all know that our food supply is not as nutrient dense as it used to be, right? What our parents and grandparents ate, it's not the same food that we're eating today. And let's be real, a lot of us are busy, we're eating on the move, we're not getting good proper meals that are just full of the nutrients that we need. That being said, I know that a lot of my patients are struggling with blood pressure and cardiovascular issues. And so I find that it's very important that I discuss simple things that they can do and take that will make their health so much better and will help with their um, the chronic issues that they're having. So some of these supplements um, are fantastic. CoQ10, it's an enzyme that is used in every system in the body. Everybody over the age of 30 should be taking it regardless of what your cardiovascular health looks like. But definitely if you have any cardiovascular issues, any cholesterol issues, this is a supplement that has to be in your arsenal. It's just gonna make your health so much better. Um, when we talk about bergamot, this is for our patients who struggle with cholesterol issues, right? If you're on a statin or if you're trying to avoid taking that and you're working with your physician, this is a great supplement that can naturally lower your cholesterol levels in a healthy way and get it into a nice balance. And then we have Citronox. This is one of my favorites. So we're just ending summer. Watermelon season is coming to a close. But this baby right here is naturally found in watermelon. 
And what the research shows is that when you take the supplement, it's naturally gonna bring your blood pressure down to normal ranges. And that's what we want. We want your whole cardiovascular system to be balanced and to be operating efficiently and effectively. So I find it um, very important to talk to all of my patients about supplements because the adjustment is powerful and it can do a lot for your health. It can reset and help you to heal from a lot of chronic conditions but we can't out adjust or out exercise a bad diet and nutrient deficiencies. So it's always important to get those supplements into your daily routine. Care Florida at our Weston location. Today I wanted to speak to you briefly on tinnitus. Now tinnitus is a neurological condition in which the inner ear perceives a noise or a buzzing sound that isn't really there. Now what's important to understand about tinnitus is that it's a symptom. It's not a condition. And most of the times when we look further down into different causes of tinnitus, we'll see a lot of what we would refer to as subluxations or misalignments in the spine. Cranial nerves can create pressure around the inner ear, which shuts off this nerve and creates disruption within the nerve, and that's where the buzzing or the humming comes into play. Gentle chiropractic care is wonderful for treating the symptoms of tinnitus. And if you or anyone that you know suffers from this, please have them give us a call. Thank you.